Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we're doing another video today about the great new plugin Divi Flash. They've literally just launched and it comes with 17 modules. And we're going to be looking at the advanced heading one today. They've got a launch deal on at the moment. Today is November the 5th, 2020. And I'll put this link below the video if anybody wants to check it out. Very reasonably priced. And I'm very impressed with this plugin so far. So today let's create this advanced heading that we've got here. So first thing I want to do is enable my visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once enabled, let's just go down and we'll delete this module right here. Okay, so I've got a section. I've got a row with one column in it. Let's add a new module. And Divi comes with plenty of modules to get any sort of website build. But when you add the Divi Flash to it, you get 17 new modules, as we mentioned earlier. And they're the ones with these little purple icons right here. And today I'm going to use the advanced heading. And there it is. It gives us three options. We've got a prefix, an infix and a suffix. And we can put different words or phrases in each of these and affect them differently with design. So let's, I'm just going to call it the name of the module for the prefix, heading, module for the suffix. And there you can see it up there. And it pretty much looks like any other heading, which is pretty much what it is at the moment. But if we start scrolling down, we start to get a few interesting options. We've got an option to add a divider. Just flip this on if you want to add one. And as you can see, it's put one just underneath there. Now you can have different styles. I'm going to leave mine on groove and I'm going to keep it fairly simple. You can have it on the bottom or the top if you prefer. I'm going to leave mine on the bottom. Yeah, let's make it purple just for fun. You can choose how thick it is right here. Just, you can go up down with the arrow or slide the slider or just type in a value. Let's make mine about three. If it's thick, you can give it a border radius so it's kind of rounded. You won't really see it on something small like that. And the great one here is the divider max width. You can choose how wide you actually want it. So you can squish it down to the same same length as your heading if you want to. And of course you can align it centrally right or left. OK, let's move on down. It also gives you an option for the divider to add an icon if you want to. There it is right there. Let's add a simple little right arrow. You can just about see it there. Let's make it a little more visible by going down. I'm going to put it on the end of mine. You can put it on the beginning if you want to, or at the end. Like I say, you can slightly see it there. We'll, I'll do those positions again when we've made it a bit more visible. OK, I'm going to make my icon white. It'll disappear into the background there. And I am actually going to give it an icon circle. And we'll give the background that purple color too. There it is on the end there. You can see it nicely there. And of course you can make it larger or smaller if you wish. So something like that is going to work fine for me. Great. Now because my line is pretty small, I'm not going to put a background color in there. You really won't see it. And again, you can put a different background in your prefix, infix, and suffix if you want to, just by going in here. But again, I don't want that. That's a great thing for highlighting words. But for me, I'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment. If you want to link your module, or your heading, I should say, this is where you do it. Anywhere they click within the module, it'll go to the link you put in here. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site to a different site, Open it in a new tab so that your site stays open. 
You can give the whole module a background color here if you wish. I really don't want to do that, but there's a nice option. Okay, well, let's move on to our design tab. Now the title, obviously you can change fonts and everything, but you can change them each of those three words individually too. I think what I'll do is just take my text up a little bit in size here. We can adjust our line width in a moment if we want to. I'm going to leave letter spacing and line height just as they are. Now this is a great little option, the dual text. I like this. If you flip this to on, watch what happens. It gets a sort of dual text behind it like that. It's almost like a, a sort of text shadow in the background. But of course you can color it and use it how you will. But if you don't want it to say the same thing, I mean that's a nice effect, hit custom text and put in whatever text. I'm going to say the new advanced heading module. And of course you can use margins and padding to space it out a little bit. Let's give it a bit of padding on the bottom, say 20 pixels. Just put in the 20, it'll put in the pics for you. Great. And you can use a different font if you want to. And there's plenty of them to choose from. Let's just use Acme for fun. There we go. You can capitalize it if you want to, obviously. All the same font variations that you get with any div Divi module. And let's make it the same color as our line perhaps down there. Okay, well let's roll on down a little bit more. And here we've got prefix, infix and suffix. Prefix, advanced, infix, heading and suffix module. And you can style these to your heart's content. They've got some great styling options. If we go into the prefix, let's enable clip, which will enable us to put a bold around it and fill the inside of it. Now I'm going to make mine a little bit more bold in a minute so we can see more. So I'll just enable that. Let's roll down a little bit. Let's make it bold or ultra bold so we've got more, more to see there. As you can see, it's got an outline there. And the fill color, we can choose whatever color we want. And for the stroke color, which is the line, that is the stroke there. Let's make that black. And you can decide how thick you actually want that. And that's pretty striking there. And that's a nice little addition. I like that. So moving on down, you can do all kind of all the usual sort of things. Let's move on down to our infix. And again, you can do the same things. I won't spend too much time on this because it's exactly the same. All three are exactly the same. So let's just make this say semi bold. And why don't we give it a little bit of text shadow? There we go. And of course, you can style your next one equally. The suffix. Here it is. Let's make that purple. That's pretty much all I want to do to it. OK. Well, let's just make our little line a little bit longer there. So let's go back to our content divider. Here's our width pop it up and let's pull it a little bit past the end of our thing there we go perhaps add a little bit more space between those two as well and that was our dual text let's make that 30 pics and there we go and we've got a very creative looking little heading right there save our changes save the draft or publish if you're ready And let's exit the Visual Builder. And there we are. There's our advanced heading from the fantastic Divi Flash plugin. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.